boys and girls, Mrs. Hales here with day two of your winter self-portrait or your portrait of you with hat and mittens on. You should be finished coloring or almost finished coloring. Um, so if you haven't finished, that's the first step. The second step is I'm going to show you how to, um, how to measure for and cut out a hat and mittens. And then we're gonna get those decorated and glued on to your, um, your self-portrait. Supplies you're gonna to need today are um, a piece of colored construction paper if you have some, if any color is fine that you like. Um, if you don't have that, you can use the second half of that um, 12 by 18 piece of white paper that we cut last class. You can use that. Um, so you really just need like about a nine by 12 inch piece of paper, either colored or white. Um, and we can get two mittens and a hat out of that. You need some crayons or oil pastels, whatever you used last class, and you need a pair of scissors, and you need a glue stick, or if all you have is like Elmer's liquid glue, that's fine too. And it's probably a good idea to have a pencil. I realize that my portrait is not colored in yet, and yours is, so um, they might look a little different. So holding your paper, um, vertical or tall and skinny you want to put it um at the top of your self-portrait page and you want to measure for your hat you want about an inch on either side of your head or half an inch see that space on either side of my head and then you want to make it round on the top so it's like a beanie and the the edge of your hat has been folded up so that it's tighter on your head um remember you probably drew ears last class so you want your hat to be big enough to cover over your ears. Um, you can cut it out if you want and set that to the side. I cut out um, a little ball for the top like a pom-pom and then I made it kind of pointy or spiky. If you want to glue that on top of your hat now, you can do that now or you can wait till later. Remaining half of your paper, you're going to fold in half. So you want it to look kind of like an envelope, um, kind of uh, horizontal, like the shape of an envelope. And then you're gonna measure again for the mittens. It's much easier to do mittens than gloves. I folded my paper in half because it's easier to cut um, two of something and all at once to get it to be the same size. You just want the wrist area to be a little bit bigger than the size of your arms there on the edge of the paper. When you're gluing your mittens, make sure that your thumbs are the same. I think they look better if they're both up, but make sure they're the same. Um, you can give yourself a little bit of hair. If you're a guy, you may or may not have hair behind your neck. If you're a girl, you also may or may not have hair behind your neck. You could have braids or pigtails or big curly hair or whatever kind of hairstyle you, um, you naturally have. Um, I, again, tried to match the color of my oil pastels with my hair color, so I made it kind of a blond blondish brown color. I wanted to put some patterns and designs on my hats. So I have done things like, I've seen students do things like um, geometric shapes, like triangles and squares and spirals or circles. Um, you can do snowflakes. You can really do um, some stitching patterns, whatever kind of patterns or designs you want to put on there. You could put a little winter scene on there if you wanted to put a snowman or something. You could do that. Again, um, if you want to try to coordinate with your clothing, your jacket, um, you can do that. And so I have like that turquoise color and white. Um, if you, you just need to glue the back edge of your hat and that should um, hold it on top of your head. Make sure you don't um, glue your hat completely covering your eyes and you just need to glue the bottom edge of your mittens and put enough glue stick on there that it holds and then you're done. If you want to put something in the background behind your self-portrait, you're welcome to do that. You could draw, let's see, a landscape or a picture of your house in the background or a picture of an igloo that you made. Hopefully we'll get some snow here someday and we'll get to play in the snow. Um, boys and girls, today let's talk about the art elements that we used. We used line, we used color, um, we used um, shape, 
we used uh, space. You may have used texture if you did something crazy with your pom-pom on your hat, or if you gave like your hat some ribbing on the top, you may have tried to create some texture with that. Um, the principles of design that we used um, were pattern, because if you put patterns on your hat or your mittens, or even on your jacket, you used uh, pattern for that. All right, boys and girls, I will see you next class.